I'm Tim of Govberg, and welcome to the world of Bremont. Today, I'll be your guide to the Bremont Airco Mach 1 model, its usage, care, and its maintenance. It's important to note that this is an automatic winding timepiece, but it can nevertheless be manually wound by taking the crown in its first position flush to the case and turning 20 to 30 turns in a clockwise direction. From a stop, this should energize the watch enough to commence beating. You'll note that the seconds hand begins to advance on the dial and the balance can be seen oscillating on the case back. Now at this point, you can allow the watch to wind itself using the natural kinetic energy of the wrist, but you'll want to use two features that permit more precise setting of the time and the date. The first feature is known as stop seconds. It's engaged in the time setting position two to tenths out from flush to the case. Now at this point, you'll note the seconds hand halts and it can be used to synchronize the watch against a reference time such as an online atomic clock. The best way to do this is to wait for the seconds hand to work its way to the index at 12 and then at that point advance to the next nearest minute against your reference time. When your reference time catches up to your watch position that you've set seconds and minutes, push the crown back in. Now you've synchronized the two to the second. Now there's an intermediate position between fully out and fully in that permits quick setting of the date of the watch. In that intermediate position, one to ten out, you can turn the crown in a counterclockwise direction to advance the date should you encounter an irregular length month or should the watch run down. However, it's important to note that the quick set date function should never be used between the hours of 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. as this is the period during which the watch's own automatic date jumper is engaged. Attempting to use the quick set from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. can crash the movement and cause significant damage. So be cognizant of the time before using the quick set. There are three principal threats to your watch. These hazards include water, magnetism, and shock. Now, it's important to note before discussing water resistance, this watch does have a robust 100 meter rating, but at the same time, leather, as featured on the Airco Mach 1, is never a water resistant material. It's porous and it degrades in the presence of moisture, so swap the watch over to textile or rubber before taking it swimming. Now, it's also important to note that you can help avoid accidental drownings. Your watch does need some help to attain its maximum rated water resistance. Keep the crown flush to the case, pushed in, and disused at any time when the watch is submerged or when there's merely water on the case, as winding or setting can bypass the seals and introduce water to the interior of the timepiece to catastrophic cosmetic and mechanical consequences. Furthermore, Unlike mechanical specifications, water resistance of a watch is not a static feature. In time, water resistance ebbs and flows. It ebbs after service or assembly. It flows during service and assembly. Lubricants and seals will age and degrade, meaning the longer your watch goes between services, the less water resistance it will have. Therefore, Bremont recommends every 24 months having the watch checked for hermeticity at an authorized Bremont service center. Now, it's also important to note that magnetism, ubiquitous in daily life, can have dramatic effects on the timing precision of your watch. Due to the ferrous hairspring at the center of the balance, strong magnetic fields can alter the performance of a timepiece, and these fields can be produced by wallet closures, purse closures, refrigerator doors, high-powered wiring looms in the home and office, speakers, subwoofers, and MRI equipment. If you suspect due to erratic timekeeping that your watch has become magnetized, take it to an authorized Bremont service center where specialized equipment is available to quickly and easily demagnetize the hairspring. Shock, however, can cause more permanent effects on your watch, all negative. Concussions caused by ATV use, mountain bike riding, firearms marksmanship, tennis, golf, and batting can all damage a fine mechanical movement, so Bremont recommends disuse of the watch before these concussive activities. All of them can minimally change the timing precision of your watch, maximally cause permanent damage requiring repairs. Every five to seven years, Bremont recommends taking the watch to an authorized service center for a full overhaul. This includes replacement of the strap if necessary, cosmetic reconditioning of the case, restoration of water resistance, and of course, disassembly, cleaning, oiling, reassembly, and adjustment of the movement. This should be done exclusively at Bremont Authorized Service Centers as these agencies solely have access to the trained personnel, specialized equipment and tools, and of course original factory replacement parts to maintain the value of your watch as both an investment and as an instrument. Moreover, only these agencies can back all work 
and parts invested with an original factory service warranty. Finally, visit our website at govbergwatches.com and text, call, or email any of our experts who will be happy to walk you through the care and feeding of this or any Bremont Premium timepiece.